Hello Leo, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a monthly reading for August 2021 and this is going to be a general reading so please keep in mind it's not going to resonate with everyone. Please go check your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. This will ensure that you get all of the messages that correlate with your needle chart. Okay, I'm going to start out with some oracle messages and then we'll go into a full Celtic cross tarot spread with conf uh, not confirmations but clarifications. Okay. Also, at the end of this video, I will be talking a little bit about an announcement that I have regarding um, a drawing that I will be uh, placing for the month of August to win a personal tarot reading with me. As you all know, I don't do personal readings, so uh, it is my way of saying thank you for um, the subscribers who uh, support my channel. Okay. So please stay to the end to find out more details about how you can enter to win. All right, let's go ahead and start with uh, some oracle messages, get some t uh, cards out on the table to see what the energy is going to look like for this upcoming month. Also, I would like to wish everyone a happy birthday. It is Leo season and it's a beautiful time. So happy, happy birthday to those who are celebrating. Okay. All right, let's jump in. Spirit, what do you have for Leo? Ooh, beautiful. We have Fortune's Wheel, Luck and Right Timing. This is a beautiful card. Um, in the tarot, the Wheel of Fortune, as you know, is it you know talks about moving towards your hopes and your dreams. It talks about having um, opportunities. Um, being able to improve and accelerate and evolve. Um, this is a beautiful card to get and it also talks about luck as it says here in this card. Now this is not tarot. This card is an oracle card, but I'm feeling the same energy with this card, okay? I feel that very good luck is coming your way in August and this is divine timing that is taking place here with whatever is coming towards you. It is meant to be and you are definitely deserving of this energy. So the universe is really um, letting you know that um, something great is coming in for you. That's a beautiful message. Let's see what else we uh, need to hear for this beautiful month of August. I can't believe we're already in August. It's Time does fly by, doesn't it? Okay. All right, Spirit, what else do we have for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Wow, that one just flew out. All right, we have Cosmic Ancestors. Voice your concerns. So I'm feeling here that your spirit guides, your ancestors, the universe is really urging you to seek guidance if you need to from them, okay? Um, you don't always have to get your guidance through people like me on YouTube um, or even elders or even the people here in the 3D like friends and family. You have spirit guides. You have um, the ancestral wisdom of your ancestors and they are asking to, uh, for you to be open to voicing your concerns with them as well and um, just know that you're never alone even if you feel like you are here in the 3d sometimes people don't always um, coincide with our beliefs or you know the way that we live our lives and sometimes it can feel lonely so make sure you understand you're never alone you have others who are willing to listen even if you cannot see them okay so that's a beautiful message. Let's go ahead and jump into the tarot messages, which are going to be very specific. Um, tarot is a little bit more um, clear cut than um, the oracle messages, but the or oracle messages are more um, spiritually uh, driven, more um, inclined to bring in some of the beautiful affirmations right that we need to hear so let's see all right spirit let's go ahead and jump right into this reading and see what leo needs to hear for the month of august we're going to start here with the reason for the reading 
two of pentacles, a decision. This has been a theme for uh, a lot of the signs that I've been doing uh, readings for so far. Um, making a decision, uh, juggling between two people, two things, or two ideas. So there is going to be a point this um, month where you're going to have to um, either choose or continue to juggle. It's, it's up to you. But let's see what's causing this. What's blocking you? Why are you juggling? Spirit, what is the challenge for Leo? Okay, I'm only going to take the card that is showing, okay? Hermit, this is going within, doing some self-reflection. So you might be having a difficult time making a choice between two things, okay? Again, as I said, it could be two people, two things, two ideas. So I feel that your challenge is to really go in and self-reflect. And I feel that's why this Cosmic Ancestors card is here, is because your ancestors are, are feeling that. They know what you're going through. And they really want you to voice your concerns to them so they can help guide you. Since you do have the Fortune's Wheel out here, this is saying that um, you're, you really don't have much to worry about. And I think this internal self-reflection is really just an internal thing. Maybe you're just really undecided um, on how to move forward with something, okay? Um, but keep in mind that, you know, these cards out here are beautiful and they're really lending to um, guidance and um, to let you know that there are um, there are other options other than going, you know, within and creating um, havoc within yourself. Now, the Hermit just talks about trying to find the answer, right? Trying, the star here is inside of um, that lantern, right? And the star is um, talking about your hopes and your wishes and, um, you know, the, the signs and if, you know, being on course with something. So you're just uh, going back and forth with, with ideas and thoughts. Let's see what, what are in, what's in your thoughts. Victory. Okay. Um, so Leo, I feel that people are recognizing you. I feel that people see the things that you put out into the world. Um, whether that's cr with, you know, creativity, whether that's um, verbally, maybe you are a public speaker or an artist or someone who, um, you know, people really look up to. Uh, and I do feel that. And I think that, you know, this is in your thoughts. So you know that you are someone who um, is very influential. And I do feel that here as well. So let's see what the root of the issue is here. What is the root of the issue for Leo spirit? Please give us a card to explain. The root of the issue is being financially independent. So I feel here that um, if there has been any sort of money issues, any sort of um, possible financial um, restraint, I don't feel that that's going to be something that you have to worry about with this fortune fortune's wheel here, okay? Um, now, this can also talk and lend to singlehood. You may be struggling with singlehood. Now, that's not going to be for everyone because not everyone wants to be single, but this that is a message for someone. Um, I feel that, you know, maybe if you strive to be financially independent and on your own, um, as I said, you know, sometimes that can, it can be lonely when you don't have others that are there to either support you or stand by your side. Um, I'm really feeling here that there is someone here who um, makes a lot of money, um, someone here who definitely is financially independent but could be single and maybe not wanting to be. Maybe someone who um, is looking for love or, you know, wants someone in their life to, to share things with. It doesn't even have to be love. It could be friendship too. Okay. 
um, just support in other areas. So that's the root of the issue here. Okay, maybe uh, feeling like you are um, recognized or thinking about all of your recognition and every you know, all your friends and possible things that um, um, that you do that people are, are praising you for, um, but it maybe it can be lonely at the top. Okay, that's that's the message I'm getting. It can be lonely at the top. So let's see what your recent past is talking about here. Knight of Wands, that's your energy. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius energy, but this is a Wands card, so this is talking about fiery energy and moving towards something quickly. Um, the Knight of Wands is uh, someone who comes and goes, okay? Um, this could be a person, it could be uh, your energy. You could, um, in the past, maybe you were quick to act and quick to leave, however you wanna take that. Um, but I do feel because it's a night, um, usually they are quick to act and quick to leave. Um, love to have a good time, love to have fun. Um, and again, you know, it kind of, um, I'm hearing that uh, there is this energy of a uh, little bit of a player energy here, okay? So maybe in the past you were a little bit of a player, okay? Um, that's not going to be the case for everyone, but that's uh, sometimes, you know, what this card talks about, and I'm feeling that a little bit, okay? Let's see in your immediate future what's happening here. What's going on with Leo's immediate future? The Four of Wands, commitment. So although you might be single, not going to be for everyone, as I said, I'm feeling here there is some sort of commitment. Now again, this could be commitment commitment for the person, um, or it could be commitment to the things that you do in life, okay? The things that you are being recognized for, um, the things that you are putting out in the world, okay? I do see two people here with a house, so again, there could be possibility for a committed uh, relationship coming in. Um, we will clarify, okay? Let's see what is possible blockage for you moving forward and possibly a karmic lesson you have learned. Justice. So I feel with the Justice card, balance is something that you've learned to relish in. Balancing home life, work life. Okay, balancing out uh, your emotions with your uh, physical reactions or, or uh, physical connotations, okay, with people and, and otherwise with situations. So Justice is the card of Libra. Um, you could be dealing with the Virgo or Libra because Hermit and Nine of Pentacles is uh, Virgo energy um, and Libra energy here with, with the Justice card. So we will clarify. Let's go ahead and look in to uh, your, what's influencing you in your surroundings. The Ten of Swords in Reverse. So I feel here that there's something that isn't uh, completed yet. There's something that's still hindering you, okay? And it could be festering. It could be festering because the Tens and the Upright, especially the Ten of Swords, talks about endings to... Um, difficult situations, endings to lots of burden and mental strife, okay? But it's in reverse, so there's something still pending. There's something still um, hindering you, something that isn't resolved yet, okay? That's in your environment. Let's see what your hopes and fears and possible uh, advice from spirit is. Hopes and fears, advice from spirit, five of swords difficult communication. Um, there could also be here some arguments or disagreements. We'll see what that's about. Let's go ahead and get an outcome. What's the outcome here? The Ace of Cups. Yes, there's that um, possibility for love. A new um, opportunity, okay? As I said with the Fortune's uh, Wheel here, this talks about opportunity. And with the four of wands out here, you know, if you were, if you were single, 
again, that's not going to be for everyone, but if you are and you maybe are feeling that um, you are looking for love, there's a possibility here that love can come in, okay? And again, we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, go through the cards and clarify as we go through the reading. So I'm going to go ahead and change decks so that we can clarify. Um, so far, if this reading um, resonates with you, please stick around. Not only are we going to clarify all of these cards and receive more messages that come out, um, I will again be um, announcing um, the drawing at the end of this reading to give you the instructions on how to enter. Okay, so um, so far, if you like the video, please hit the like button. That shows me that you support what I do here on YouTube for all 12 zodiac signs. Okay, all right. Let's go ahead and jump right in. I want to see what this uh, Two of Pentacles is here, and this is you juggling. Okay, Spirit, what is this Two of Pentacles talking about? The Page of Wands in reverse. So the reason why you're juggling is because, again, with this Ten of, of Swords in reverse, this is um, kind of, so this is the ending that still hasn't, uh, you know, it's still kind of just lingering there. Um, this is lingering because it's a new beginning. Something is being um, halted, and it's because I think you're not making a decision. You're still juggling. You're still not sure. Um, you still have doubts, and I think that you know, once once you're able to make that uh, decision and you're able to choose and move forward with that decision, these two energies will reverse. Um, you'll be able to move forward and you'll be able to start something passionately, um, a new beginning, okay, a new start to something. Pages are really uh, talking about m moving towards a new beginning. It's not fully uh, developed into a new beginning yet. It's more just kind of like um, a message that you might be hearing or um, a nudge that you might be getting to move into that new beginning. Um, but, you know, once you make a decision on whatever this is for you, uh, you're going to uh, be able to turn these energies around, okay? The Hermit is talking about going within, and this is a challenge for you, obviously, since it's crossing you. So um, go within, uh, you know, Again, if you, if you need advice from your ancestors, the universe, your spirit guides, please uh, reach out. Um, if, you know, the tarot readings you're listening to aren't giving you the guidance that you're looking for, if your friends, your parents, your elders um, aren't giving you any advice that is helpful, you need to look elsewhere other than, you know, within yourself, right? Um, because there are people there out, out there that um, who do care and you can reach out to them. You know, this Hermit card does talk about you really finding the answers within yourself. And that is, you know, very acceptable and very possible for you to go in and really uh, evaluate what's going on for, for you and how you want to move forward, okay? You do know that you are um, someone who people look up to. You do understand that because you're, it's in your thoughts, right? Now, um, this can also be careful with ego, Leo, okay? Be careful with this ego because sometimes ego can get us into trouble. Let's see why this um, seven, or sorry, this six of wands is here. Let's check it out. Spirit, why is the six of wands here? Okay, so I do feel here with the ace of swords and the three of pentacles, this is being very clear that you are building something from the ground up and or you have built something from the ground up. This is why people recognize you for who you are because you're an innovator. You are someone who takes the lead, right? With the knight of wands, someone who comes in, gets it done, and moves on, right? Um, you're someone who can build something from scratch and make it successful. And that's why people look up to you. So that's why that's here. That's that's the reason why you're thinking about it. You know that you, um, you know, you take that sword, even though you're not an air sign, this is saying that, you know, you um, have taken things from the ground up and really just, you know, cut out the BS, got the work done, communicated clearly as to what needed to happen, and um, successfully uh, completed or um, tackled something, okay? 
and, and whatever this is for you. It could be a project. It could be a new business. It could be whatever, okay? Just know that um, this talks about building from the, from the ground up and you definitely have done that or you are looking to do that. I feel that you've already done this because I do feel that there are people that do look up to you. So, and you know that, you know that they do. So let's see what this um, Nine of Pentacles is here. So again, we have Justice. We've got the Hierophant, the Page of Cups and the Two of Wands. Yeah, so I feel here, as we talked about singlehood here, um, I do feel that there is this energy of you wanting to start something new in love. We have the Page of Cups, okay? Now again, as I said with the pages, they are not full-blown new beginnings. They're, um, you know, possibly just thoughts about how you're going to move towards a, a beautiful new beginning. Now the Page of Cups talks about love. It's a Cups card. So this can talk about, you know, really thinking um, how you're going to maneuver towards that. Now, with Justice, this is a card of Libra. We have it out here twice. You could be dealing with a Libra, okay? Libra uh, energy uh, is talking about balance. Um, and I feel here with um, not just the Hierophant, because the Hierophant talks about marriage. It can talk about commitment as well, just like the Four of Wands here. I feel here that you want to be um, somewhat in a committed um, friendship or relationship or partnership of some kind. Now keep that, you know, how it resonates with you. If it's love, um, you know, friendship or whatever, this is just saying support and in some way having someone by your side. And again, with the two of pentacles that started out the reading, this indecision, um, there definitely needs to be, um, a path that you choose um, that's going to be clear-cut that you're going to be able to walk down um, confidently so that you can start on that new path okay right now I feel like you're contemplating right now I feel like you are spinning your wheels a little bit um, trying to find that balance in your life okay so I do see the possibility here of you uh, maneuvering towards love but in the recent past you may have been in and out with uh, you know people in your life possibly um, people who could have been um, good for you or meant for you. But let's look at that. Let's see what this Knight of Wands is here. Spirit, what is this Knight of Wands for Leo? Why is it here? Yes. So I feel like you were in and out of a commitment, possibly a, a, a situation where you, you there was a union with someone. And the Nine of Swords is talking about feeling like it, it was not successful, being up in your head about um, a possible union that maybe uh, you, you came into but left very, very quickly, okay? Um, something that um, you experienced that um, maybe you just weren't ready for. Okay, you weren't ready for it, and I feel here that it, it really was um, a mind, a mind-boggling thing for you to wrap your head around at that time. Um, whether it was, you know, maybe you didn't feel like you were ready for a relationship. Okay, um, and now I feel that you are. Um, so let's look at this: the Four of Wands. We have the Seven of Swords, the Tower, and the Six of Pentacles. So I do feel here that there was some energy or will be coming up um, that really brings you into a realization. The tower sometimes brings in um, rude awakenings, okay? I feel that there may have been um, something that you could have taken for granted, okay? There could have been a possible situation that um, led you to realize or have some sort of conflict, internal conflict about, um, you know, this give it equal give and take, um, getting, you're, you're kind of realizing this energy of this, uh, Knight of Wands, you know, this, um, coming in real quick and leaving real quick. And I do feel that there's a realization here of this equal give and take. And I, you know, this kind of just reminds me of, um, growing up, you know, kind of like 
when you see things for what they are and even though you can't change them you know that you've learned something from the situation and I feel that this is what it is and it's been kind of a rude awakening for you and I do feel that this has something to do with um, a possible commitment that just didn't work out um, I see that here in, in the recent past and I do see that here that you're kind of seeing that seeing it for what it is okay so let's look at the justice card this is the karmic lesson and um, it's balance right it goes really um, well with the six of pentacles because this is talking about that equal give and take not rushing into something and rushing out right not coming in with uh, something that is um, pleasurable for you or something that is uh, immediate satisfaction and then leaving right away because then that it, it it's not equal give and take it's just kind of a um, momentary thing right and not everyone's looking for that momentary um, that that moment that that quick um, situation you know um, I, can, I guess I can say even if it an example with that of that would be a booty call right not everyone's looking for a booty call right there are people that actually do want commitment I don't think that you were ready for that in the past I feel like maybe now you are um, so the Six of Pentacles is talking about that equal give and take, and this um, this is the lesson you've learned. Okay, let's get one clarification card for this Justice card. Yeah, the Knight of Swords. Yeah, um, so this is kind of telling, talking to me about, um, how would I say it? Someone who is quick to quick with their words, someone who's slick with their words, um, someone who is even sometimes manipulative with their words, okay? Um, so I think that what you've learned is that communication is important and very clear communication because if you don't clearly communicate with the people in your life or the people who you have intentions to be with or spend time with, um, that opportunity can leave quickly. Um, just the way you came in quickly, that other person can leave just as quick due to lack of communication or um, unclear communication. So let's see, there's something here still uh, stagnant with this Ten of uh, Swords in reverse. Something hasn't come to completion yet, and I feel that it's a big burden for you. It's It's been very hard on you, um, very mentally um, challenging. Okay, we have the Emperor, Aries energy. I feel that with this um, card here, it's talking about you um, really having the confidence to move forward, um, turning this energy around, right, um, by making that decision. Making a decision to change your perspective or gain a new perspective on something. I don't see the hangman here. Um, but I do feel the hangman energy, okay? So the emperor is someone who's confident, someone who takes lead on something, someone who moves in a way that is powerful, and someone who's ambitious. So um, this is, um, although it's Aries energy, I, I feel that you are in that mode where you, you have the ability to do that. You have the ability to take that action. Um, you're very you're you're very motivated. You're very very skilled, and you do know that uh, once you make up your mind to do something, that energy of uh, this ten of swords in reverse is going to quickly flip, and you're going to um, move towards this ace of cups. But before we get to that, I want to look at this five of swords. This is fear, possible f hopes and fears. Okay, yeah. So this goes along with um, this voice, your concerns as well. Um, the high priestess is really saying, listen to yourself, listen to your intuition, listen to your gut. If something doesn't feel right and this communication continues to remain stagnant or remain um, um, toxic possibly in a group of people or people who you are around, you need to listen to your intuition um, because whatever you've learned here with this justice card about balance and equal give and take and not coming in and leaving quickly but yet communicating effectively 
um, listen to your gut feeling when your gut tells you, hey, you need to stop. This person might be good for you. This person might be a good match for you. Stop and listen or communicate with them and talk to them. Um, get to know them. Share with them, right? Don't just come in quickly and then leave quickly. That's what I'm hearing here, okay? So, yeah, you need to pay attention to your own intuition, especially with the hermit. This is also your challenge. And this could be a challenge for you, Leo, because maybe this isn't something you normally do. Maybe you're just quick to act and quick to leave, and that's just your personality. But this hermit card is really, really, um, it's its blocking. It's, it's, your, it's your challenge. Again, the high priestess, this is, you know, the the um, same kind of energy is going within, right? Paying attention to your intuition, your gut feeling. If there's someone who is in your life that shows you support, if there's someone who you come across or you meet um, that gives you the attention you're looking for, but also um, gives you um, solace and um, provides, um, you know, guidance of their own for you, someone who's there for you, someone who talks to you, you got to really look at that and uh, appreciate those people because then, you know, you, you'll understand that love is possible. There is an Ace of Cups here. Let's look at that. This is possible new love, okay? But then we have the Five of Wands. Again, conflict. So this is internal conflict that I'm seeing here, Leo. This conflict here is, uh, you know, lots of un... I think this person here, and I, no, it's it's not the same person. There are different people in this card. Um, you could have had lots of conflict with other people, maybe um, moving into your life um, in the past. Um, and I feel that, you know, if you don't uh, really go within to figure out what's going on with your... your um, how you how you're managing your relationships you're going to continue to have conflict okay internal conflict ouch sorry I just hit my elbow internal conflict right you'll continue to have that internal conflict let me get one more card two more cards there's the ten of wands so the internal conflict because this is a wands card this is telling me that with the 10, it's a completion. But the decision is here again. It's going to be up to you. Okay, the lovers is Gemini energy. This this card talks about making a decision. But I, it's not a coincidence that there are two people here in this card like this, and we're talking about new love. Okay, so, and I'm going to put it like this, because what this is saying here is there's an opportunity for new love you're going to have to make a decision to end the burdens, to end the internal conflict. You see that? End this internal conflict so that you can not only end the burdens here, but flip this energy upright to end the burdens internally in your mind as well. Okay, so that you can, uh, you know, act as the emperor slash empress and um, really take the lead take the lead on your life and your relationships and the partnerships that um, that you have because there are already people who see your worth there are are already people that see your value um, especially in business um, but you know life can't always be strictly business okay you do have to have personal relationships as well and you want to make sure that you are nurturing those um, relationships, nurturing those um, connections, okay? Um, even if it starts out as a friendship um, and blossoms later on into new love, okay? And that's what I see that here with this Ace of Cups, that is an opportunity. You do have the fortune's wheel, and there is, it does say right timing, so luck and right timing. There is divine timing here. I feel that once you make a decision, whatever that decision is that you know you need to make is, um, then you're going to move forward. You'll be able to move through this process. Okay. So before I end the video, um, I will complete the reading with that being said, but I do want to um, just give you some more information about the drawing. 
Um, so as a, a thank you to all of my subscribers, I'm holding a drawing in the middle of August. I'm sorry, not the middle, in the month of August, okay? August 1st through the 31st, um, I will be accepting uh, entries um, to win a free tarot reading, a personal reading with me, okay? The drawing starts on August 1st, and to enter, what you have to do is a couple things here. First of all, down below in the description, not description, sorry, in the comments, uh, you need to comment the number 5,000 because I will be approaching 5,000 subscribers and so that's a way for me to say thank you for that. And um, also, if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. That is also another way uh, or another uh, thing that you need to do in order to enter into this drawing. Um, and the third thing is to navigate to my about page because my website is listed at the bottom of my about page and once you go there you will see on my page um, a tab that says YouTube giveaways and in there you will find an entry form you'll need to put your full name and uh, email address and then in the message box type in your YouTube handle okay that's the one you used to subscribe to this channel and most importantly, do not forget to turn on notifications right now. Please do that. Hit that notification bell uh, because I will be announcing two winners um, on September 1st when I release my uh, monthly readings for all 12 zodiac signs, okay? Um, I will be announcing two winners in that video. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and um, I'm going to end the reading now. I'm going to end the video now. I wish you luck. If you decide to, to join uh, or subscribe and enter into the drawing, I wish you luck. And you do have the fortune's wheel, so you may win. Um, and, you know, as you guys know, I don't do personal readings otherwise. I just don't. So um, this is my way of saying thank you uh, for supporting my channel and for always, um, you know, uh, being here to listen to, to the messages that I have for you. Okay? So I'm going to leave it here. Thanks for being here again. I love you guys. Happy birthday once again. I hope you guys celebrate. Have a good time, okay? Until next time, guys. Namaste.